Everybody, Maple Ruski back here for another live short live stream of today's beer from the advent calendar. I didn't do yesterday's, which was actually a totally fine thing because yesterday's wasn't a big fun beer, it was kind of kind of garbage. What was it? Don't remember. Hold on, don't remember what the beer was. It was Thirsty Hippo. It was a Coriander Amber Ale from Eslov, Sweden. Sounded really, sounds really interesting. Uh, it really wasn't. It was very bland and not a not a good time. So today's hopefully will be better, which is from Captain Lawrence Brewing Company out of Elmsford, New York. We have their Hot Commander IPA coming in at 6.5% alcohol holds by volume and 65 IBUs. A little bit of matchy, matchy there. Pretty cool can design, forest green, a lot of greens, some silvers and whites. Beautiful, beautiful stuff indeed. 6.5%, 65 IBUs. Crack this bad boy open. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Let's see what we got. Pour about half can. We're going to the other half off camera also got some normal beer chilling on this side so i need to shoot this live before i got too late looking at the beer nice golden color to it a little bit of amber in it i want to say but pretty good a little bit of haze not too much nice white head on top let's dive in on that nose big resinous Pine, holy Jesus. When you think just regular American IPA or IPA in general, like you're not talking about the New Englands or super hazy, hoppy, juicy kind of shit. Maybe even this is more West Coast, I want to say. Is it? No, I, I honestly. Mm, I'm just saying it's a regular old IPA, I'm not saying it's a West Coast, but wow, yeah, okay. There's a bit of like multi sweet breadiness and almost like a honey note to it. Very earthy of an aroma, not super juicy or tropical. Mmm, mmm, like, like bread and a honey and then big resinous pine, dried grass, hay. Ooh, that smells, smells good. Let's dive in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big pine on this brew right here. Big, big pine indeed. Resinous, dank. Mmm, ready notes. Hey, cheers, everybody. Keep on drinking. Sorry, I forgot. Big hop presence. Earthier hops. Or earth, earthier hop profile, in my opinion. Nice backbone of a solid breadiness. Little, little hints of honey or caramel going on. Pretty damn good indeed. Let's see what the can has to say. Captain Lawrence Brewing Co. Out of where again? Sorry. Elmsford, New York. 6.5% alcohol holds by volume. 65 IBUs. Our flagship IPA is a tribute to the ingenuity, cre uh, creativity, and hard work of hop farmers. IPA brewed with Bravo, Centennial, and Citra hops. Very nice indeed. Government warning, brewed and canned by Captain Lawrence Brewing Co., Elmsford, New York, 444 Saw Mill River Road. Very nice indeed. On the bottom, this was canned on July 21st, 2020. 21. So it's a little older, but it's still holding up quite nicely. Oh. Holding up quite nicely. 
over on the website, CaptainLawrenceBrewing.com. Go to the beer section. You will easily find Hop Commander IPA. Description reads, at the core of every great IPA, there are hops that make up its heart and soul. Definitely do. The Hop Commander IPA gets its name from the ultimate hop harvesting vehicle, paying tribute to the ingenuity, creativity, and hard work of the hop farmers who are tasked with getting the hops from the vine to the brewery. Your style IPA, IBU 65, OG 14.5 degrees Play-Doh, I'm assuming. They don't specify, but you don't do gravity in 14.5. That would be absolutely redonkulous. Hops that are used again, Citrus, Centennial, and Bravo. Dry hop with Citrus, Centennial, and Bravo. Malts are two-row and crystal, giving you that extra little bit of sweetness. Quite enjoyable. I wouldn't say it's a very dark crystal because it's a very nice golden color, not pale yellow. It's a nice golden color. Century profile. Hops, hops, more hops. This beer is brewed using only the finest U.S. grown hops from our good friends out west. Lasagna, when I say west coasty. Uh, with a robust hop aroma from the dry hopping process, this beer delivers on its promise to provide a full century of salt on your taste buds. That it do, and it's damn, damn good. Food pairings. Excuse me. This beer handles well with most foods, but spicy is the way to go. Seafruit, seafood fra divolo. Excuse me. Indian cuisine or your favorite hot wings. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, we'll get to pricing in a minute. Overall untapped, Hop Commander has been given a 3.64 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of 52,000 ratings. Actually, over 52,000 ratings. That's a 5 ton of ratings. Uh -huh. Damn, that's a really good beer. Uh, pick up from Ellsford. Let's see what you can get. I am 21 over. Uh, delivery, a $40 purchase required, $5 delivery fee. We delivered to some zip codes, not to postal codes. Where's it going? Okay. Web store has nothing for sale. What about the other one? Pick up from Mount Crisco or Kisco, sorry. Pick up. Hop Commanders coming in at $11.70. Holy dit. It's actually a six pack of the short cans. Do, 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 do. Short cans, 1170. Let's do a bit of math. 1.7 divided by six. It's like a buck 95 a beer. A book 95 a beer. Holy shit. That's actually really, really good. Because something like this uh, uh, sold at Made and Sold here in Ontario would probably go for like 350 for a short can. Minimum. Uh -huh. Overall, it's a beautiful West Coast style IPA, in my opinion. Beautiful hop presence. Not juicy, but more resiny pine. A little bit of earthiness to them with a nice backbone of bread and honey slash caramel. Coming through damn good. Join the final sip. Let's get right crazy. I'm going to fuck right off. Captain Lawrence Brinko, Hop Commander IPA, a solid, solid brew. Nothing super crazy in terms of IPAs, but it is well, well done. A solid 7, 8 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching either now or in the future. I'm Maple Ruski. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'll pop in for a little bit. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Just, just drink beer, man. Christmas is soon. Holy shite.